Hi, Deirdre McNamara here. Um, I'm just going to go through doing if statements in Microsoft Excel 2010. Um, so I've just uh, typed out just a little sample here um, and it shows you student names um, and their exam results. OK, and we're trying to work out if the student has passed or failed. Uh, and in this column here, we like the word pass against any student who gets 40 or more. Uh, and we'd like the word fail against any student who hasn't received that particular mark or, or a lower mark. So I'm going to click into the cell where they want the answer to appear. So I click in here and I click on the FX function, which will take me in there. And I'm going to look for if I'm going to type in if and press enter. And up pops the if statement. So it's found the if statement for me. So I click on it and click on OK. Now, um, Excel takes you uh, into the uh, if function and the if function is made up of three parts um, and the first part is some sort of test and our test in this case is is the number in cell B2 greater or equal to 40? So is it greater or equal to 40? If it is then the student is passed, value if true will be passed if they didn't get greater than or equal to 40, then unfortunately the student has failed. So value if false uh, is the word failed. So we just type in the test in here. So our test is going to be the cell B2 is greater than or equal to 40. OK, so is this number here greater than or equal to 40? If it's true, then we want the word passed and we type it in. Now, I always put text into inverted commas. It often will put the inverted commas in for you anyway, but it's a good practice to get into. When you're using text in these sort of functions, always put it in inverted commas. That's the double commas. Shift 2 will give you that. Um, and so if they didn't get greater than or equal to 40, then the student has failed. So down here, we type in the word failed. OK, and then we click on OK. And you can see here, it has evaluated this number here, has decided that it is greater than or equal to 40, and so the word passed appears. Now, as we use our fill handle here, the bottom right-hand corner of the cell and drag down, it evaluates this one here. It has looked at this number here and has said that B4 does, is not greater than or equal to 40. So it doesn't do the first option, it does the second option, which is the word failed. And it will keep evaluating these numbers. So if actually I realized I mistyped Mary's results, it wasn't 55, poor old Mary only got five marks, and press enter. The minute I press enter, it re-evaluates that and now declares that uh, Mary has failed in this particular uh, situation. OK, so that's the if statement. I'll just go through one more example with you. I have another one uh, open here, which I'll just take up. And in this situation, this is a company um, who's looking at the amount of money owed to them. And they're trying to decide, is it a large amount of money or a small amount of money? And for this company, anything that is greater than 100 is considered large. So we're going to put in an if statement now. So I'm going to click on the F. X function. I've selected cell D3. I'm clicking on FX. I've already used if recently, so it's already listed for me there, and I click on OK. So our test in this situation will be, is the value in cell C3, is C3 greater than 40? Or not 40, excuse me, that's the last one, greater than 100. If it is, then I'm going to say large bill. typed beautifully and if it's not we will consider it a small bill and click on OK. So it's constantly evaluating the numbers in this column over here. I'm going to drag it down and it goes through each of them and says oh 20 that's only small that's large large this one here 10 it's less than 100 so it's a small bill. So it's a way of differentiating and pulling out all of the large and small bills. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thank you.